Hello everyone. In this episode, I would like to talk about two things. One, direct mechanisms, which I briefly mentioned in the previous episode. And the second important thing that I would like to talk about is the revelation principle for dominant strategies. Um, all right, so a social choice function F, which consists of decision rule and a transfer function, is also a mechanism. Remember, uh, we argued about this in the last episode, where the strategy space for each play is actually nothing but uh, their type space. So instead of uh, asking them, would you like to up or you know choose the strategy up or down or you know jump, whatever, we just ask them, what is your type? All right, and then the outcome function G is identical to the uh, social choice function. This equivalence means G of M theta is going to be equal to F of theta for every theta, okay? For every type profile. This is what I mean by G is equal to F. So, therefore, every social choice function is also a mechanism and we call it direct mechanism. So, therefore, uh, the type space, the type profile, uh, theta, capital theta, and F is going to be a direct mechanism which corresponds to this mechanism MG. All right. Well, obviously, whenever we say direct mechanism, we understand that the types as uh, strategy space is nothing but the type space itself. So we don't really talk about the capital theta. We just say direct mechanism F. Okay, because that is the important part of the mechanism, the outcome function. Because we, whenever we say direct mechanism, we already clear about what the message space is. All right. Okay, so an important definition. A direct mechanism or a social choice function, F, is a dominant strategy incentive compatible. It's a long name. A dominant strategy incentive compatible if, huh, intuitively it says, if a social choice function is dominant strategy incentive compatible, which means players have dominant strategy to tell the truth, whatever their true type is. Okay, so whatever the, the player's true type is, all players are going to tell the truth because that is a dominant strategy for them. Okay, so that's what dominant strategy incentive compatible means. So let me take it back all the way from uh, the beginning. A direct mechanism F is dominant strategy incentive compatible if theta i is a dominant strategy at theta i for each player i and theta i in capital theta i. That means Remember, theta i, this is a strategy, the message. Playing or telling the truth, telling the truth is a dominant strategy. So, so this at theta i, and theta i is a dominant strategy at theta i means telling the truth is a dominant strategy for each player i and at any type profile, at, at, at when, whatever their true type is. Right? So if the state is state one, uh, telling uh, state one is a dominant strategy. If state is state two, telling state two is the dominant strategy and so, so on and so forth. So if this is true, well, then the, then the direct mechanism F is a dominant strategy incentive compatible. Or instead of calling dominant strategy incentive compatible because it's highly uh, long, we just call it strategy proof. Remember, this is a concept we already talked about in auction theory. I'm sorry, not auction theory, in um, voting theory, in mechanism design theory. Remember, we said uh, uh, the Gibbard Satterthwaite impossibility theorem, we said under certain uh, axioms, uh, assumptions, there's no strategy proof uh, voting rule. And uh, if you remember the um, again, the impossibility theorems like, uh, for example, in, in, in college admission problem, what is strategy proof, what is not strategy proof. So it's like we talked about strategy proof mechanisms. So exactly uh, this is what the definition is. A direct mechanism F or the social choice function F 
is strategy proof or dominant strategy incentive compatible if and only if telling the truth about your type, telling the truth about your type is a dominant strategy for every player and for every type that you may have. Okay. So here's the theorem that again, I mentioned is like, why do we look at indirect, sorry, indirect mechanisms? Let's, let's focus on direct mechanisms. Can we do that? Well, yes, this is kind of an equivalence res uh, result. We call it revelation principle for dominant strategies. If you change the equilibrium concept from dominant strategy to, for example, Bayesian-Nash equilibrium, there's also a revelation principle for Bayesian-Nash uh, equilibrium, which is uh, very similar to this one. If a mechanism, Mg, implements a social choice function f, we know what we mean by implementing a social choice function, remember? in dominant strategies, well then the direct mechanism F, again, when we say direct mechanism, the type space is the message space. The direct mechanism F is also dominant strategy incentive compatible. It's not also, is dominant strategy incentive compatible. You see what I mean? So let's say I have a social choice function that I would like to implement by some weird mechanism. Uh, the thing is, if I can find a weird mechanism, like choose weird messages and then play the game, then this outcome G function is going to give exactly the same thing as the F function. So if I can do that in dominant strategies, well, you know what? Don't worry about those weird mechanisms. Just, just look at a simpler mechanism where the message space is the type space itself and the outcome function is the F, the social choice function itself. So that's the mechanism F. Well, that mechanism is strategy proof. It is dominant strategy incentive compatible, meaning each player will always tell the true truth about their types. Okay, so this result is very important because it says um, if you do not know existence of mechanism that will implement some social choice function, well then the best approach is to use that social choice function itself. I mean, use the direct mechanism. If there is, if there exists no direct mechanism F, all right, that is strategy proof, well then there exists no mechanism MG that will implement the social choice function F in dominant strategies. This is what this theorem tells us. Once again, if there is no direct mechanism F or the social choice function F, which is strategy proof, well, you know what? Don't worry about weird games. I mean, again, it's like, what I prove is that a direct mechanism is very easy to work with, right? Uh, everybody just tells the, uh, you know, uh, they declare their preferences. Can I find a, a, a choice rule, social choice rule, for example, voting rule, which is strategy proof? Well, if the answer is no, well, then you don't really need to go and search for awkward game uh, frameworks like uh, they, they, the players, uh, you know, raise uh, red flag, blue flag, whatever, or they just choose up or down, so they play some weird game. And so with some weird outcome function, we implement the social choice function. Is it possible? No, 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 it's impossible. Because uh, this is exactly the contrapositive of this statement, right? This is an if then statement. If there is a mechanism implementing a social choice function F, well, then F is strategy proof. So the contrapositive of this, if F is not strategy proof, well, then there is no mechanism which implements the social choice function F in dominant strategies, which is this statement, all right? So for that reason, we use the revelation principle and say, you know what? We don't really have to worry about all possible mechanisms. Let's just focus or sort of focus our attention to direct mechanisms. If we cannot find any direct mechanism, well, then there's no hope. If we can find some direct mechanism, strategy proof direct mechanisms or dominant strategy incentive compatible direct mechanisms, well then that mechanism will, will be strategy proof. I mean, it will implement itself in a sense, but if you like, you can come up with a bunch of other 
weird mechanisms that will implement exactly the same function. All right. Uh, well, then it's a matter of choice. Would you like to use a direct method or indirect method or the, the direct mechanism or indirect mechanism? It's again, it's like depending on the environment, maybe you prefer to uh, choose the direct mechanism or the indirect mechanism. But again, the revelation principle is very, very useful for that reason. I, <clears throat> sorry, I hope that was clear.